too much reverb on that thing, man. <laughs> On your vocals? Garaiku is a, is a word, a Quechua word, that means uh, because of the Inca. You okay or you want reverb too? That's good. You okay, okay. I chose the, the word because it, it, it means a lot of things. Because of the Inca, Peruvians are proud, or Andeans are proud. Because of the Inca, we're still here playing music. Because of the Inca, where we try to emulate them in, in many ways. Because of the Inca, we are still speaking Quechua today. So Inca Raiku was born because uh, the other group that I was in and I directed, Inca Kusi Sonko, which started out as a dance group, Peruvian dance group. For about five years, six years, we did, we specialized in Peruvian Quechua music. At that time I decided, okay, I have learned and I, to, to appreciate and respect Quechua music, Quechua culture in general, something I'm going to, to do forever. It's part of me, it's my culture, it's who I am. My sister used to be part of uh, Inca Kusi Sonka, which was uh, the group we all used to play, most of us used to play with. They've been around for a long time, but uh, I, um, they were, they're kind of like semi-retired now because most of the people in the group were like, like elders and they moved on. So the younger crowd kind of formed this group, Inca Raiku. Indigenous, um, which to me that that's like the just, that's how you connect. I believe that our sound came from one source uh, many moons ago, many eons, whatever you want to say it. I believe we're much older as a as a civilization than what we think we are, what we were led to believe, and that at a certain point in time, all cultures were one. Like for instance, like there's a lot of similarities between like Irish folk music and the Inca music. There's a lot of similarities between the Inca music and, and the Chinese, ancient Chinese music uh, on Mongolians and it's, it's and they usually deal with the pentatonic scale and it's, it's always again about praying to the unknown, the source, the giver of life. Most of these sounds are lost through time, but we, we try to, we do our research and we try to recollect all of that and, and express it, embrace that. We're trying to promote um, our culture, trying to keep, tell the audience that um, we're American, but we play our music from our background, that uh, we connect with our roots. We don't let the, what makes us, what made our generation before us, um, what we are today. We want to keep the tradition alive, but also incorporating you know, the modern lifestyle, which you know, we are paying tribute to today's time, at the same time giving respect to where we came from. This is, our, this is our base, this is our roots, the Quechua traditional music from the Andes. Now we're going to, to branch out into other things. Using our foundation, we're going to try and, and do fusion. Could be with rock, could be with R&B, funk. Reggae, cumbia, disco, and you name it. general audience, anyone who likes music, who appreciates um, different cultures from uh, South America, anything that's not um, modernized. I've seen a pattern that with those people from who, who aren't 
who aren't uh, South American, they enjoy our music even more. And, and I, I love to see when at the end of each performance, for instance, they, 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 they dance and they're willing, they, they go out of the way to, you know, and they, they really enjoy. this, we want you to know this, we want you to learn more and appreciate the Quechua culture, Inca culture, but we are part of the modern world, we are all Americans, 